start with our homework topic where we have left in the earlier class. I left you in last lecture the explanation for the characteristic features of the business. Now we will start with our last topic in the business called as objectives. Every human activity or every human activity has some objectives. Business is also one of the important activity of the human life. So business also has some objective. So the main objective of any business is only profit. But profit only should not be taken as an objective for the business. To survive the business, to improve the business, to expand the business, to diversify the business, we need money. That money comes from the profits. So the profit is the important criteria for any business. But apart from profits, business also has to keep some of the important aims or objectives because to flourish or to expand or to develop the business, profit cannot be considered as an important factor. We need certain other objectives also like economical objectives, social objectives. Economical objectives, those objectives which a business keeps for the development of income or for the development of the business, expansion of the business or for diversifying the business, for facing uncertainties in the business or any type of unknown things in the business, we need money. Social, because you are improving, you are developing as you grow in the society. So, we are going to discuss how we our objectives of business. First one, we will call that as economical objectives. We will discuss first what is an economical objectives. We have three types of economical objectives. So, the first one is profit motive, second one is creation of customers, third one is innovation. So, profit motive, every business is done for earning the profit. Business is done for earning profit, but a business therefore needs profit for expansion or its existence, diversification or for facing any type of uncertainties or various types of contingencies. So a business has to stand or survive for a long run. So when you are earning more and more profits, a business will sustain. If you are not getting profits, it will become difficult for a businessman to improve the business quality or expansion of the business or adopting the modern technology or facing uncertainties. So for the sake of earning more profits in the business, a businessman should not adopt unfair or any type of malpractice fraud or capitalization of customer's ignorance. That means we should try to sell the good side services to the customers at a reasonable price. That means keeping in mind if the demand is more for the commodity in the market, increasing the prices or if the demand is less to the commodity, decrease the prices is called unfair trade practice. That means your behavior is getting changed according 
market situation that is to be avoided because your main motive is to earn profit. You earn profit only by nominal prices. That means you charge price to the commodity at a lower cost or according to the price uh, cost which can be paid easily by the customer. Profit should not become a important task in your life. You consider it as a minor part for the business. Next one, creation of customers. A business comes into existence or exchange of goods and services by the business to the customers is one of the objective. Business is coming into existence only to exchange the goods and services between the business and the needed people of the society call them as a customers. So, business is running for the sake of customers. Business is running for the sake of customers. If the customers are there, then only the business will survive. Business man will survive only when the customers are coming and when the goods and services are exchanged with the customers. Business man cannot survive himself without customers. If there is no customers, no business. If you are earning profits, it is coming only from the point of customers. Though you should always try to increase, create more and more number of customers for the business. But don't spoil or don't go undergo the customers. That means if the customers are not there for the business, you don't have a proper goodwill. So create your goodwill, create your image, try the things which can affect or uh, attract which can attract, which can make customer think of your business, which makes a customer to join in your business to buy your goods and services. So always a business will come into existence only for the sake of customers. So the customers are another important part of your business. Then we go innovation. Third one in an economical act, uh, economical objective is innovation. Innovation means creating new things. Innovation means creating new things, new ideas, new type of things which you use in the production of goods and services. So when a businessman continues selling the goods and services in order to attract the customers, in order to increase his profits, in order to produce the goods and services, in order to diversify the production process. That means when you are producing the goods manually without using any proper technology, in order to satisfy or in order to stand in the competitive world, you need every day some change in the company. If there is no change, if there is no innovative thinking, thought, ideas, opinions or any type of change is not being seen in your commodity by the customer when compared to the competitor they will not show the interest. So you should produce the goods without disturbing the other type of uh, you should produce the goods properly or you should try to innovate the goods produce the goods adopt those techniques qualities adopt those uh, type of uh, production process where you incur very less amount of cost on the commodity as well as it will make you to survive in the market. Now we go for the social objective. Social objective means when you are doing the business as a businessman it is 
is your duty to earn the profit. It is your main objective or a moral objective. A business will come into existence only on the basis of the earning profit. So, but apart from earning profit, you should also have, you should also keep certain moral ethics, social responsibility. You should prove yourself a good businessman or a good citizen. That is one supper desired quality goods. So the first social objective of the business is to supply of desired quality goods. Every customer intends from a businessman that he should be supplied with a proper goods and services. For the sake of making the profits, you should not produce the goods which are harmful to the customer, either individually or that is called personally or to the property or to the health. That means you supply only those type of goods which are not adulterated, which are not poisonous, which are not outdated, which are not updated in the technology. So what are the goods which the customer is desiring from you? Try to supply those goods with a good quality. For the, way, uh, for the sake of for the sake of making a minor amount of profit, not to make the goods quality disturbed, or not to make the quality of the goods outdated or harmful at the time of use. That means you always produce or buy those qualitative goods which are good to the customer personally and doesn't harm to his property and to him anyway. Creation of employment. Every business concern so the main objective of the business is making more and more amount of profit. But as a social objective, every businessman, when he starts business, is reducing unemployment process in the business. So, those people who are unemployed will be given opportunity to work with businessman. So, you should try to provide a employment opportunities in the business according to the skills, according to the knowledge, according to the area in which a person is having his efficiency and got experience and is going to reduce his, his a businessman is going to contribute whatever he can contribute to the society from his side in reduction of employment, unemployment process. Utilizing natural resources. One of the, another one of the important social objective of the business. Utilizing natural resources. To make more and more amount of profit in the business. At the time when you are producing the goods and services, you should not try to utilize all the natural resources but don't damage the things like exceeding the natural uh, industrial gases will reduce the wastage of natural things which will go in the society in the form of liquid in the form of gas, in the form of minerals and they are going to disturb or disrupt the life of the people living in the society. We are intended or we are intentionally making profit by producing the goods and services. But at the time that we are producing the commodity, we are using so many natural resources. So the cost is becoming high. But 
to reduce those costs, we are using machines, we are using a uh, little bit technology, we are using so many type of things. So, use the natural resources in a proper way, reduce your wastage and otherwise. Cooperation in government. Every businessman should have a good cooperation with the government. He has to enclose what is his business objectives, what is his policies towards the business and also towards the government so that the government will get a proper chance to frame the policies for a long run. They are supposed to pay their dues to the government in a proper time in the form of taxes. They are supposed to disclose their economical data, whatever they are going to get in the business, in the form of production, in the form of sales, in the form of employment, in the form of unemployment. So, this will help the government in framing the policies for the coming generations also. If you don't support the government with the proper data of the business, then the government will not have an opportunity to frame the policies keeping in mind about your business, then protection of human life. So every businessman should make a good use of protection of human life. Overuse of natural resources, overuse of minerals, overuse of liquids and other things in the business will lead to disasters in the world or uh, in environment in the form of water pollution, in the form of uh, air pollution, in the form of uh, destruction in ozone layer or any type of Destruction is going to be created in a human life should not be supported or should not be encouraged by the businessman.